Hi everyone, you're welcome to another interesting tutorial. I am Yinky, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a wrap dress. And basically, what I'll be showing you in this tutorial is the wrap itself. So, the full video of this tutorial, I mean the upper bodies and also the back bodies, is on seller right away. And if you are interested in the tutorial and the full video of the of this dress you can get the link from the description box the the seller link is in the description box you can get it there so i'm also using this medium to appreciate all our subscribers and also our intending subscribers thanks for your love and god bless you so i'll be showing you the materials i'll be needing for this tutorial shortly so this is my client she's so happy the dress came out nice she's so so happy so let's get straight to the work so now this is the material i'll be using for the skirt so this is it's a kind of um heavyweight material and uh, this is the wrap so this wrap is kind of lightweight material. It's not that heavy, and it's always made up uh, made up of maybe tool or net. So, so the skirt has been constructed. So if you can make a basic skirt, you don't have problem with this. Input the dart where necessary, and note that this skirt will be joined to another to upper bodies to make it a dress. So don't forget that. So having done that, you can see the chalk. I have chalked uh, some areas on the on the skirt, so you can see the zipper allowance has been chalked out, and um, the zip ends here. So and that's the hip line, which means the hip line is twenty six inches. That's the hip length, and the half length, the skirt half length is thirty eight inches that's um, two inches above the knee and that's where the slit will stop the above knee is just like two inches above the knee so i will just mark that place also because the slit will end there the slit will end at that 38 inches it depends on the client's choice so it, there's no standard for that so this is the front but front skirt and the basket this is the lining for the skirt this is the lining for the skirt so if you should you should be able to make this if you are not a beginner even a beginner should be able to make a a, a basic skirt so this is just a straight skirt so right now this is zipper allowance i'll go and join the zipper allowance together so wherever i join the main fabric i will also join the lining i will leave the zipper allowance the zipper itself opened and join the rest so i will i will also leave the slit opened also so this is what I have joined. I have joined one side of the skirt. I have fixed the zipper and um, this is for the main fabric. So I will only join one side and the side that will the drape will hand will be the one that I'm going to leave open. So whichever side you decide to hand the drape on, you're going to leave that side open. So I'm going to place the wrap. The, the material that I'm going to use for the wrap, I'll place it like so. You know, judge is a kind of material that you just place it on top of each other to in such a way that the design of the lace trimmings will be showing and um, the one underneath will show a little bit like maybe 10 inches more than the one that will be on the upper part. So just align it, make sure it's aligned very well the way it pleases you. So, and I'm going to pin it down at this part. I'm going to pin this place down so that it will not shift. So, I'll pin it down properly. Then I'll begin to drape. So, the style is a kind of drape on one side when you check the the video very well, the picture very well. So, I'll drape this side, I'll kind of pleat, and this is how the pleat will fall. So, I'll do that. After I have done that, I'll pin it down carefully. Pin it down carefully. Then the rest of the wrap will fall to the other side. And um, I'll go to the other side also and do the same pinning. I'll go to the other side and pin it down also. So I'll, I'll get my pin and also hold it down here also. So that by the time I'm putting the measurement, the skirt measurement, the it won't shift and um, 
it will be put in place. The the wrap will be held in place. So I'll hold it down with my office pin very well so that it will it won't sh the clothes will be held in place properly. So I've, having done that, this is where the drape will end. I will make sure it is very firm. That's what I'm trying to use my hand to arrange. Make sure you pamper the, the wrap on it and make sure it is very, very firm. So so it will just drop to, to one side like so. And you can see it's very, very long. So I'm going to cut it to the length of the skirt. So after cutting the excess, this is what we have. So I can go ahead and stitch the hand so that it will not fray. So I'm going to bring the back on the front bodies like so. Later on, after stitching that side, I'm going to bring the back like so and input the measurement. Like I want to put measurement for skirt. This is the lining of the skirt and uh, the lining has been... I've been put the measurement on the lining already. So I'll just go on the sewing machine right now. So here, what I'm going to do right now is to stitch and remove all the pins. So I'll go ahead and remove all the pins and stitch it down. So I will just go ahead and stitch it down like so. So I will run a straight stitch on one side. This side, I will run a straight stitch right away. So after running a straight stitch, I know that this the wrapper has been secured on the skirt. So, like I told you, the part one and part two of this dress has been done. You know, it's a complete wrap dress. So, I've done the front and the back. So, the front is part one, the back is part two, and this is the last part. So, in this part, this is what I'm showing you, how to make the wrap. So, here yeah, I will just go ahead and just run the straight stitch on the drape. This is just like a pleat, so it will, fall, it will just go to one drop on one side of the skirt. So I'll just stitch it down so that it will be held in place. By the time I'm joining the back on the front, there won't be any problem doing that. So all the excesses will be trimmed off. So the next thing is to move to the other side and stitch the other side down as well. You know, there is a the side that will that the drape will fall on. So that side, I'm also going to stitch it down. I told you that you can untack or you stitch it. So I'll start to stitch like so. I'll stitch it through, through to the. I'm starting from the upper part right now. So I'll be stitching it down to the hemline of the skirt. So and that's what I'm trying to do so that the drape will be held in place in some cases you may not need to stitch this part if and the, your client is be, is going to be the one to wrap it by herself you don't need to stitch it down but if your client is not wrapping it by herself you're going to be the one to stitch it down arrange it very well for your client so this type of wrap dress is the one that everything will be done by you so the the only idea is that it must look like the rapid but it's something that you have done already so just run a straight stitch down like so so the straight stitch will be very very close to the side seam and that's what i'm doing it's very very close to the side seam because the side seam has been joined already it must be very very close to the side seam so so that it will look natural. So, having done that, the next thing to do is to make sure while you're doing everything you're doing, make sure you leave sewing allowance on the skirt. It's very essential because I'm still going to place the upper body, so I must leave sewing allowance on the skirt. Like sewing allowance of half inch must be left. So right now, what I want to do is to join the other side. That side. That I said I have not joined. Remember, while I was putting the wrap, only one side was joined. 
So that's the side that has not been joined is the one I want to join right now. So so that my scale skirt will become a whole skirt. So I'll be stitching it on the sewing allowance that I've marked here. So so while you are joining your skirt together, be careful if you have stones, pearls, and um, anything that can break your needle, you will have removed it before you start joining. So most of the time, all this uh, fabric, they have stones, pearls, crystal stones all around them. So you need to remove it before joining so i'm done with the sewing allowance right now i have joined the side and the next thing is i have to join my bodies so remember from our pattern we have one inch two inches space on the lower part here for our leasing space we have two inches so i'll mark one on each side after i have marked one one on each side that is when I will place the bodies. And this is the bodies. This is the upper bodies. So I'll be placing it starting from one inch apart. So I will not start from the sewing allowance, from the zipper allowance immediately. Like, like we do join our skirt. I will start from one inch after the sewing allowance. Because of the lazing space. I hope you get that. So I'm going to join like so. Remember your upper bodies has been perfected before joining together the bones are inside already and um, you just go ahead and do and do the joining so i'll just go ahead and do the joining so right now my fabric is becoming thicker and i need to be very careful so i'm still on the joining i'll just go ahead and um, join like so so when you are joining, make sure you push your bones inside so that the needle will not step on the bones. So because if the needle step on the bones, it will break the bones. It's to break the needle, not the bones. So you need to push your bones inside very well while you are joining. So and I'm almost done. And when you get to this part also, you know we have we need to leave one inch so in that one inch space, lazing space at this side also where you are ending your joining one in space must be left also all that has been done during our pattern drafting and construction of the upper bodies so having done this this is what we have the upper bodies has been joined to the skirt and we have this this is how it will look i hope you can see it so the next thing to do is to get my lining the skirt lining and use it to do the overall turning of all the sewing allowance on the waistline. The sewing allowance on this waistline will be secured right now while I bring my the lining for the skirt. Like I told you, the lining for the skirt will carry the measurement of the um, client of your client. You, you just put the measurement of the hip and also the waist. Put the measurement of the hip the actual hip and the actual waist so after i have put the measurement of the hip and waist and i have joined the zipper allowance and leave the slit open i left the slit open and also you can see i also left the zipper allowance on the lining opened so i can go ahead right now and use it to turn the waistline so i will do the overall turning so just watch carefully at this point you need to watch carefully because this will be the finishing of the dress so this is the zipper allowance and this is the allowance so I'm going to cut off the XX and zipper so after I've done that I'm going to bring my skirt lining and um, since the zipper allowance is opened, this is what we have. I can turn right now, turn the waistline. I can turn the waistline. But before I do the turning of the waistline, I'll first of all join the right side of the lining will be placed like so. So the right side of the lining will be placed on the wrong side of the zipper allowance. So we are going to start the turning from the zipper allowance. 
so just place it the way i placed it on the zipper allowance you just use the right side of the lining to turn the zipper allowance like so so i'll go down through to the hem line of the skirt so the turning that i'm doing now is we'll get to the hem line of the skirt so that's when you do the overall turning so having turned one side of the zipper allowance then i can now go back to turn the waistline and do the zipper allowance on the other side too because this is one side of the zipper allowance the other side of the zipper allowance will also be turned so just follow what i'm doing and you are going to get the same result so i will just go down like so you know we have the skirt has been joined with the lining already the line the has been joined with the measurement the measurement is there on the skirt already so and the main fabric also the measurement is there on the main fabric likewise on the lining so i will just turn what i'm doing right now is as if i'm using placing the right side of the fabric on the right side of the lining so placing the right side of the fabric on the right side of the lining is what i'm doing right now to in order to achieve the overall turning so this is um, the inseam finishing that i want to achieve and so i'll just go ahead and do that so i'm going to reverse my stitch here having done that i'm done with this side so before i do the other side of the zipper allowance can you see what we have so one side of the zipper allowance has been turned in order to have that um, neat inseam finishing so i'll go ahead and do the waistline and come back to this other side that i'm holding the other side also this side i'm holding will also be turned with the lining so i'll first of all do the waist and then um, i'll finish it up on the other side of the zipper allowance so from the waistline I'll, i'm trying to turn the waistline so i'm using the right side of the lining to turn the waistline like so so right side of the lining i'll be placing it like so to turn the waistline all the sewing allowance the sewing allowance that is on the waist the sewing allowance that is on the waist will be covered up with the skirt lining and that's what i'm doing right away like here you want to turn the sewing allowance of um, a, a ball gown or a, a ball gown a princess ball gown that's just what i'm doing here so i'm going to use it to turn the waistline cover up the sewing allowance and make sure the inside of the dress is very neat as the outside so and that is what i'm doing right here so i'll just do that till i get to the other end of the zipper allowance and when i get to the other end of the zipper allowance i'll do what i did the other time so the zipper allowance will be turned inside so and i'm almost there so here i'm going to just turn to the zipper allowance side and that is where i am right away so i will just stick it down stick it down to the hem line of the skirt so i'll just go ahead and go down straight to the hem line of the skirt so while achieving this everything will be turned out through the hem line to the right side when i want to turn it to the right side i'll i'll push my hand inside through the hem line the hem line of the skirt and i'll bring everything out to the right side so i have used the lining to turn everything inside all the sewing allowance will now be inside so that the inside of the dress will be very very neat so you can see now i'm bringing it out to the wrong side inside of the dress will be now be neat then i'll go and high on press the inside as well as the outside so the zipper allowance has been turned properly so it's not something difficult you can see how i did that so you can zip up and down conveniently it does not have affect the zipper but the waistline has been turned so 
this is what we call the instant finishing the neat finishing that you we, you always want to achieve when you are making luxury dresses like this so having done that i'll just turn to the back you turn to the back you can see how neat the inside is the waistline um sewing allowance has been covered it's intact so nothing is showing so this is the overall view of the inside you can see down to the end line this is what it looks like this is what it looks like so um, this is the back this is the back so you can see the inside is as neat as the outside the inside is very very neat and also the outside also so this is the hem line you can see the side so i just want you to see what it looks like inside so this is the slit everywhere has been turned so we are now moving to the designing of the dress so we'll be designing the dress with the applique so there is no standard for the design you can place it anyhow you love it anyhow you want to arrange it it can be slanted it can be straight it can be curved whichever way you want to design the applique whichever design you want to use to design the applique so i'm going i'm using this b6000 gum this gum can be i got it from the market from fabric shops so in nigeria you can get it for as low as 1500 naira or 1008 so after i i designed even the shoulder i designed it also with 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 the applique so having done that the next thing is to attach to tack down the remaining part of the wrapper so i'll be tacking down the mini part of the wrap wrapper like to the side like so so i'll just i'll make sure i arrange the 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 drape so i'll drape it so this is when the drape will come in so we pleated it on the ground but now we'll be draping it on the dress form so i'll be draping it here now so after i have draped it and i arranged the pleat very well i will be tacking it down to the side so it's a kind of slopey so it's slanted also to this to one side of the waistline so i'll be tacking it down with my needle and needle and thread is what i use but make sure the hand needle is the matching thread is the matching thread so make sure you use the matching thread that will not be visible so that's what i used to tack it down and that's what i'm trying to do here so after i have done that i think the dress is almost ready so the next thing is to just show you the outcome on the mannequin and also my customer will come for the test fitting and you'll be seeing her shortly so we've come to the end of this tutorial and i believe you have gained one thing or the other in this um, tutorial so i will see you in the next tutorial Bye.